Hi, it's Allison. Today I'm going to show you how I build and insert an Omnipod Dash Pod using um, Android APS. I do not use the PDM. I am what they call DIY looping with APS. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Today um, I've already deactivated my previous pod, but I'm going to leave it on here for a few hours so I can absorb the residual insulin and hopefully avoid those highs we see on pod day one. So what I'm gonna start out by doing is I'm going into my APS app right here, and I'm gonna to go to dash right here, and then pod management, and then I'm gonna say activate pod. So it's telling me to fill. It says fill a new pod with enough insulin for three days. So I'm going to take my pack and I'm going to open it. And inside the pack you have a pod and you have a syringe and a needle. So I'm taking out the pod and I'm going to put together the syringe. And this is just a, a 200 unit syringe with a small needle. It's just long enough to go through uh, the vial. So I usually use about 100 units for three days. I actually don't use that much. I use about 75, but the minimum fill is 80 and I like to have a little safety buffer. So I put it at 100. So I'm filling up that syringe with air at 100 units and I'm gonna inject that into my vial of insulin. I'm using LumDev, which is uh, the ultra rapid version of Humalog. So I'm injecting my air and I'm pulling out 100 units of LumGev. And I'm gonna make sure I get all the air bubbles out and thumping. You can also kind of whack the syringe against the table to get all the air bubbles to float to the top and then you just push them out. So I have 100 units of insulin right here and I'm going to inject it into this little port right here in the upper left-hand corner. So I put that in there and I inject. And I don't know if you could hear that, but the pod just beeped, which means it's activated. Like I said before, you need a minimum of 80 units or you cannot activate the pod. So now that the pod is full, I'm clicking next. And now it's initializing the pod. So now it's making the little clicking sound you hear. This is the same sound you're going to hear when you're getting a bolus. And it's just priming the pod right there. It just takes a minute. Oh, it feels like it's taking forever. Okay, it's stopped priming now. And I'm gonna be placing this pod on my other arm. I usually just switch arms back and forth and try to find a spot that I didn't go in previously. So I'm clicking next here. And now it's telling me to attach the pod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off this little blue plastic piece. And then I'm gonna pull off the adhesive paper. And then I'm gonna place the pod on my arm. So I'm trying to find a spot I haven't used previously. I'm gonna go about right here. And I'm going around just laying the paper flat. And then I'm gonna click next. It says attach pod, which I've already done. So I'm clicking okay. And then it's gonna start clicking. And there you could hear that loud click. That was what I just inserted. And it's just kind of a little pinch, kind of like I tell people if you 
pump a rubber band against your skin. That's kind of what it feels like. Sometimes it's completely painless and sometimes you feel a little bit of a pinch. And I just felt a little bit, but it's not painful. So then I'm clicking next. It says pod activated. The new pod is now active and then I click finish. And that's it. My pod is inserted and it's going. 0.84 units an hour. 0.8 units an hour, sorry. Hope that helps.